Hey, Katie. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, um, we're just going to wing this and do a little <laughs> video for you. So I'll get it out of this. Hang on. Oh, there we go. Right on. So this is our this is our drive. You can see the beautiful blue ocean down there. We've got a bit of a um, a boneyard sort of thing down here where I've got my little skiff and my uh, classic 1985 trike. Oops. So we've got this um, area at the top of the driveway, which is where we yeah, can fit a few cars and whatnot. And up above us is the barn. Let's go check it out. You can speak too. Okay. <laughs> so one of the first things we did was put some steps in. Just to improve access. So the, the bush surrounding the barn is like absolutely lush. And oh, these um, these steps. What I did here was um, bought 50 by 50 uh, reinforcing mesh, and just did every light second tread with it. So it cleans people's boots on the way up, but it's also super grippy. So this end of the barn is like original, so we haven't uh, worked on any of this, so you can see it's just a patchwork of dodgy plywood and windows and stuff like that. But... <laughs> How it was when we found it. Yeah. My, um, April Fool's plant, little beauty. It's the, it's the weirdest plant. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> So the front of the barn is pretty much finished actually. So I added all that structure to the roof because none of that was there. And we made these doors and put this um, frosted, like a, our sign rider guy did this for us, just frosted glass kind of look. And it's for bird strike. I feel like I'm zoomed in too far. That's better. Look at that now, would you? <laughs> We've got some lovely old uh, cowrie pillars I got from, I can't remember where. Oh, it's a hawk. Hello. What else out here, huh? Um, it's about it out here, really, isn't it? Shall we just go out here real quick? Oh, the old, the, the old light that oh, yeah. she gave you, that's pretty cool. One of the locals gave me this really cool light. So all the lighting's um, LED 12 volt. Got an outdoor shower here, which I really like showering outdoors, it's, it's nice. Oh, on this deck, before we um, even bought this place, we chanced upon a salvage yard that had like two truckloads of um, dug fir uh, planks and they're all rough sawn but um, it was too good a deal to pass so we grabbed it and god thank god because we've done everything out of it. It's amazing wood. Yeah, all the windows are made from it as well. Oh and I use heaps of um, fence and gate hardware. I use it everywhere, so the door channels are um, a gate hardware, and so the wheels that are inside there, like there's a bit there, I've used it to mount that, that bar. You can buy all sorts of fittings and knuckles, and you can use it on steel pipes, so there's our solar system, using the same stuff. It's like, it's like the Carnegie <laughs> Bay in the old light. Yeah, a salvage yard somewhere. And we kind of finished this end of the barn, except that we, um, the deck doesn't go all the way around yet. But it will do. Oh, we should show the window. Oh, I'll open that window. The 
this is this really cool window that Ed built. It's so cool, just opens out into the kitchen and it's beautiful. That's an old um, piece of balustrade glass that I got off Trade Me. Heavy as fuck. <laughs> you can get, um, there's a company I found, I can't remember the name of it, that do like custom struts. So you just give them the weight of the door and how far you want it to open and they, and they work out how big and strong it needs to be. They were quite cheap. It's like, oh, was that the, um, the hose crank? The hose oh wheels. yeah, this is a fire hose reel. Like converted to um, a garden hose just because they're seriously good bits of kit and they're real cheap. I hate those plastic ones you yeah, get at Bunnings. Yeah, they break down, don't they? And beautiful buoy of greens. Yeah. And the mesh, this is to keep the uh, quails out because the quails like eating the Yeah, they the trim breeze. it to exactly the same shape as the net. We, uh, we call it the salad bar when the quails come and we have to cover it. <laughs> yeah, it, it provides a bounty, this little garden. Oh yeah, just greens all year round. It's great. So the original water tank up here, I cut in half and they became the roofs of our little sheds. So that's his and hers. Debs has got one. Her favourite colour is green. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's orange. So that's our um, inverter that does all our solar power. Phil and I caught a rat in here the other day. And that's the batteries, a little bit of box back there. So that's a kilowatt of uh, panels we have on the roof. And I forget how many amps the bat batteries are. But... Should we go back on that inside? Yeah, probably head through the barn and come out yeah. back. Okay. So we started, we, when we first got here, like, basically like the original end of the barn, like this here, was just all real mank. So that'll be the last wall, that'll get done probably. So I've got a bit of a workshop set up in this little zone here, I keep all my tools and crap. I've got lots of local art. And this guy? Oh, yeah. That's a, um, what is it? A lancewood. Lancewood. A piece of lancewood, yeah. I um, shot a possum last night. <laughs> Have a bit of that. Nice. We made this um, kitchen island out of the dug fur planks. It's come up real, real cool. And we... it's just lovely the more you use it, the smoother and worn it gets. It's really nice. A willy bird. Yeah. So that's a local artist Claire that does these amazing kind of fish creatures with yeah. one up here. Yeah, swimming along. And plank. I mean the ladder. Ladder ladder shelf. So that was an old wooden ladder off trade me. Cut in half. What else we got? Um, oh, Deborah's genius idea to write all the um, recipes on our fridge. <laughs> like all the basic stuff, look, rice and that. So that's a super low energy, but it's, a, it's 230 volt, but it's a super low energy fridge. So um, that runs 24 seven, whether we're here or not, which is awesome. Some of this furniture has got quite a story, but Save that, save that for another day. another day. This is the original um, back door for the barn, which we used as the sliding door into the bathroom. I did weaken and buy a um, brand new track for up there because it wasn't really a better way of doing it. Oh, what about the little tiles? Oh, okay. Did we yep. use the off cuts of the Oh, probably just better to show all right. that in Hang the bathroom. On. Sorry. Also, these, um... no, that's all right. <laughs> These 
concrete trowels to make really nice door handles. And cheap. They have a beautiful wear to them. Can't kind of use them everywhere. Yeah. So what Deborah was referring to was um, all the offcuts from making the doors and windows. We just sort of cut into ten mil strip and tiled the walls with them. So you glued all those on, didn't you? Yeah. And I oiled them. The original grotty little shower that was here, that's the two bits of glass out of the um, shower enclosure. <laughs> which I um, I tried to put them so that, I don't know, what happened is the, the, the height that they are from the deck out the side means basically you got your willy and your tits out. <laughs> which is kind of the opposite of what I was going for. And then we just got some, oh, I bought a big box of um, salvage rope. Which is real cool. So I'm going to use that in a few different places. And fine waterwear, toilet, and whatnot. Oh, that's old. Yeah. Okay, what else? What else? Oh, the switches. I love old school um, electrical stuff. And because it's all um, low voltage, it doesn't really matter. We've got another neat one over here. got a really nice feel to them. So then out the back, so where we're at right now is this wall here is about to get torn torn demoed. down, demoed. And I'm going to put two really big doors across this opening here. So it's similar to what we got on that side. But it'll be dual. But if, if, to, in order to do that, I had to finish the deck. So I've just about finished the deck. I'm going to check this out. Voila. Epic. So we'll have doors across there, and in that far corner of the barn, that's going to be like a, a, a cozy little nook. Yeah. Winter nook. So here's these planks, and basically, like it's all um, it's all rough sawn, so it's like super splintery and whatnot. So that's an unfinished side. And I just used a big 8 inch angle grinder with a 40 grit sanding disc and just like blow over that in just a few seconds and all the splintery stuff's gone. And then we use that um, natural oil on it and it comes up like that. It's beautiful. You have to touch it again. So I'm going to have to add structure all the way along this roof as well because there's basically not much holding it on. I've got a couple of temporary um, posts there. What else we got, hun? These are listening devices. We're um, trying to find out if we've got bats, uh, native bats. So we've had these up for a little while just to... And we've got them out in the bush as well. I've got up uh, this end, we've got our um, firewood stash. So this deck will join up. Eventually, got a bit of a um, thing here for cutting firewood up, and that's where we stash our fire just in a corrugated, I mean, our firewood in a corrugated iron kind of thing. Is that about it? I think so. Yep, that's it. I'll just show you that oil for the timber because this stuff's amazing. It's all natural. It gets made by a family company down in, um, family business down in Nelson. And it's all 100% natural. Like you can get it on your, on your skin even. And it can just kind of, it's like a moisturizer. There we go. Natural house exterior oil. It paints on like water and it smells absolutely beautiful. Alright. Alright. Hang on. See you later. It's been fun. I uh, look forward to having you come visit. Yeah. See ya. Yeah. See ya.